Hey, look at this beautiful original score, man. 65, 66 Dodge Polara. Four-door sedan. Factory stock. Man, even that color isn't common. Awesome. I can't believe it, man. In Quebec City of all places, I see the Montego and now Polara. Both gas-guzzling American classics. And where did I recently see a photo of a more modern car with one of those hubcaps? Man, she almost looks like a barn find with her flat paint. Fabulous. Fabulous. Uh, what does it say here? Polara 500? Man, I'm blind. What does it say? Yeah, it's a 500. Oh, got some rust. A little bit of rust. She's a driver. She can be enjoyed. Park it anywhere. Oh man, it's even got dual exhaust. This baby might have a 318 or a 3, 383. Last time I saw one of these was a black two-door hardtop with a 440 in it. Yeah. Very nice. Love that color. A lot of people wouldn't like that color, but see, this is very quintessential of the uh, early and mid 60s. Oh my god, not many miles on this car. Fabulous original condition in the interior. Tabarnak. Very nice. Fantastic. Hey, c'est à vous le Dodge? No. Ah. I thought it was there as they were walking towards it. You know, this reminds me of a time, one time I was waiting for the bus and this, uh, this woman, she saw one of my large original magazine ads. It was a fury. It was like this, you know? And uh, she says, uh, I said, you know, they were great cars, this and that. And she's, oh, uh, she's, uh, so it's a bit trop gros, which means it was too big, you know? I mean, in a sense, she was right. They were too big, but... That's why they'll never make them again, you know? So, let me just get one last close-up of that front. Oh, by the way, the hood ornament here. This is known as a fratzoid. Don't ask me why. You know how they say dodge the Spanish? In Spanish countries, they say dodgy. Anyway. Right on, man. I'm on a roll. If I find a third old car, I'm going to be tickled pink. Take it easy, guys.